And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm so, so excited for the players. I really am. I love playing in semi-finals. Didn't play in the Champions League semi-final, mind. But you find out about yourself in a semi-final. Can you control your emotions? Can you commit to the game plan? We're just about to find out. Very, very excited. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. And the PSG team looks like this. Keylor Navas is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Moise Keane. Playing with purpose and control. Really getting stuck in. This is the lineup for Dortmund. The vastly experienced Marvin Hitz is the goalkeeper. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Jaden Sancho starts with Marco Reus out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Considering the form book, Lee, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously. Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Di Maria. Oh, showing excellent vision. Going for the ding! And unfortunate with that chip, Lee, just over the top. Oh, he's done everything right. He's gone over the keeper, but unfortunately, he's gone over the bar as well. Minier. Dahoud. Now Minier. It's with Dahoud. Not a particularly strong challenge. Dahoud. Jaden Sancho. And now Dahoud. Delaney. Verratti. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Running with the ball confidently. Mbappe. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. The manager's trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. It wasn't an especially high quality header, was it? Well, that was like one of mine, or more to the point, like one of yours, Derek. You're spot on with that assessment, Lee. Guerrero. Bellingham. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Guerrero. And on to Bellingham. Pulls it back, but into the keeper's gloves. Verratti. Di Maria. And the danger is averted. Wasteful in possession, Rice. Delaney. The ball with Marco Rice. Holland! 
Well kept out. Now let's see what Dortmund have been rehearsing in training. Corner. Well, they're going for the short one. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. But he's gone short with it. And space for him to cut in. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Good defending to prevent the chance. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, here we see it again, and the corner delivery is good. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, PSG get the ball moving again. How will they respond? And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Idrissa Gay. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Holland. The ball with Marco Reus. Dahoud. Now the attack fizzled out. And Neymar! Tremendous ball played through. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. And given away by Dortmund. And threading it forward. And will it be the leveller? It's gone in! A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, the manager knows that's plan A sorted, got themselves back into this. Now can they go again? Even Steven won a piece on this match. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And Paris Saint-Germain with the ball again. It did look on for them, but not to be. To Hood, and on to Bellingham, but it can't get all the way through. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? And disappointingly, he got completely underneath that. Well, here's a coaching tip. Long-range shot, lean back equals over the bar. I always listen to you, coaching tips, Lee. <laughs> and Dortmund will go to the bench. <laughs> well, being pressed here. Marco Reus.
A fine reading of the situation. Gay. Can he give them the lead? Mats Hummels with that important block. Holland. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Guerrero. A move of promise on the flank. Well read to ease the pressure. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Changement pour le Borussia Dortmund. Sort du terrain. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Son remplaçant, le numéro 16, Manuel Akanji. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Idrissa Gay. This is Neymar. Icardi. Minier. Emre Can. Now Holland. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? And a throw in it's going to be. Nice looking pass. Just the challenge that was required. Beautifully disguised ball. This could win it. It could be up for grabs. Well, it came to nothing in the end. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Guerrero. And now Brandt. Good tackle. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? to get tighter here is it going to be this is why we adore this game late drama and now they're in front well it looks like the game is over but no there's another chance and there it is back of the net it looks like the winner well here's the replay it's a lovely quick counter attack that sets up the chance and then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score and he doesn't disappoint does he with the advantage after 90 minutes. Yeah, still plenty of work to be done in the second leg, but I was impressed with how they approached the game today. Really high tempo, lots of aggression, and it paid dividends. Can they hold their nerve in the second leg? We'll have to wait and see. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, grabbing that late winner was the icing on the cake. What a good performance from him. 